Hi guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my wig spray and my wig brush. Take it away, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. Stop thinking about you. All right, so I wanna come on here today and I wanted to take some time to really show you guys how my wig spray and how my wig brush work. I know I can tell you guys until the cows come home all about it and how much I love it, but I really wanted to show you guys how it works in action on some wigs just so you guys can really see that it truly does work for multiple different uses and we're gonna go over a couple of those uses right now all right so if you are new to my channel you might not know what i'm actually talking about so i probably should let you guys know first so i have these two everyday synthetic wig sprays right here they are essentially the same exact formula one is just scent free and one is scented the scent is a lavender vanilla kind of scent to be honest with you the best way for me to describe it is it smells like freshly washed hair and I love that because I think that it kind of just adds to the illusion of is it a wig or is it not so this one right here like I said scented or if you have any type of allergies or you're sensitive to those kind of scents or smells I also have a scent free one for you as well I also have this detangling wig brush and it's really meant to cause the least amount of damage to the fibers when you are brushing your wig you probably have one of those loop brushes at home and those are great as well they just aren't going to help as much with actual knots and tangles and getting those out and with this brush as you can see it moves it bends it does all that stuff to cause the least amount of pulling when you're using it so we're going to go ahead and work on i have two wigs here and i want to show you two different methods that you can use the spray and the brush for the first one is going to be just really kind of fixing a wig who has a really sad story and <laughs> needs some love because she got thrown all over the place and we're going to be getting the knots and everything out of this wig and then i also want to show you guys how you can actually repair the ends of your wig if they're getting really kind of like that dry straw like texture i can show you guys how to fix the wig with my spray and my brush doing this as well all right so i promise you guys i usually take very very good care of my wigs and it really hurts to have left this girl like this for this long so she has gone through a lot she was in my purse she ended up in the back seat of my car where my kids probably put it on played with it did all sorts of crazy things to it and then it ended up in a ball on the floor in the corner waiting for the this video. So what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is really get the knots out of this wig using my brush and using my spray. The first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna go through the wig very lightly with this brush, just trying to get any of the real like easy kind of knots to get out and then I'm gonna spray it. I recommend brushing your wigs on a flat surface. The reason being is when you are brushing on a wig head or on your own head like you would your normal hair, you're pulling the hair down like this and that is just giving you more of a chance to cause pulling and tension on the fibers and that can cause damage so even though this brush does help prevent that it's still going to be better to go ahead and brush this on a flat surface just anytime you're brushing anyway with any brush and as you can see it really goes through it really really well and you can already kind of tell the difference of how it's smoothing it so if I do see like a little knot or something like here that needs a little bit of help I'll just take the end of this brush right here and kind of just lightly go like this to kind of just pull it out like you would with a rat tail comb but again, because this is moving and bending, it's not gonna cause the damage that a rat tail comb would. All right, so now you can see this wig is looking way, way, way better. We've got all the tangles and all the knots out. And to be honest with you, I did this with just the brush and I didn't use any spray, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray this wig as well because I wanna keep this from happening the next time as quickly and also just help with some of the flyaways and all of that before I put it back on. I really wanna focus on the nape of the neck and the ends because those are the places where I get the most frizz happening when I wear my wig and also just usually the most poof. And then I'm gonna run it through with my brush one more time in those areas that I sprayed it just to kind of distribute the spray and also just make sure I've gotten all those knots and everything out of that wig. All right, so this wig is now completely detangled, looks so much better than it did in the beginning of this video. And it is ready to go be hung up or put on my head. All right, so now I wanted to show you guys another way that you can use my spray and my brush on your wigs. And that is when you are actually repairing the ends of your wigs. I have a lot of videos on how to repair a wig. I will put that here for you, probably put it over here for you, wherever we're gonna put it. Sammy's gonna put those there for you. But what you can do, and when you're watching those older videos, you're gonna see me use 
products that I found that kind of worked. And that's kind of where these products really, really came to my mind because I was using different things and I just wanted to have one thing that I knew was gonna do everything I wanted it to do. This one is a straight wig. A lot of times when it comes to straight wigs, that's where you're gonna really see the damage to the ends faster because the curls hide a lot of that. So with a straight wig, I tend to kind of like to use heat as a daily type of spa treatment for my straight wigs, just to keep the matting and the straw like fibers from happening as quickly. But as much as I do that, there's still some times when I go out and I do a lot of crazy stuff to my wig and this is what I get. All right, so the only thing you're gonna need other than my spray and my brush to do this to your wig is you're gonna want some type of heat tool. I highly recommend using a heat comb like this one, but if you have a straightening iron or something along those lines, you can absolutely use that as well. But as far as this heat comb goes, I'll put the link down below for you guys if you wanna get one. There's tons and tons of heat combs out there. I just like this one because it has like a digital reading and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna be working on this wig at 350 50 today and that's usually kind of like where I like to be when I'm repairing a wig but you can start off 200 and work your way up always do a test strand you know I'm gonna put that disclaimer right here guys because I always do because I don't want you to ruin your wig make sure your wig is heat safe before you put heat on it please 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 we're gonna go ahead and put this wig on a wig head so that I can show you guys exactly how I'm gonna repair the ends of this wig using these three items I am then just gonna take my brush once I have it on my wig head and I'm just gonna very gently kind of make sure that the ends are still good if you wear wigs you know what I'm talking about when it gets to the point where no matter how much you brush it you move the wig and you go to brush it again and it's tangled that's definitely a telltale sign you need to do something to the ends of your wig so here we have I want to show you guys kind of a before of what these fibers look like so you can see here these are kind of standing a little bit more straight up they're not as floppy you can kind of see the little curly cues and just that kind of nest situation happening. So we're gonna go ahead and show you an after so you can really see the difference between the two. Concentrate this stuff on the ends of the wig. Don't be scared to kind of get it nice and almost, um, not soaking wet, but nice and damp. This is gonna help also just kind of steam effect the ends here once we put this heat on it as well. And you wanna run the heat through this until it's pretty much dry. So it's gonna take a couple passes depending on how much spray you use, but you're slowly essentially kind of steaming and repairing the ends with the spray and the heat comb. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys the difference from that same set of hair that I showed you in the beginning. All right, so as you can see, this side right here that we did this half is just so silky soft. I can run my hands through it. It has a bunch of movement. It looks like it's brand new. And then on this side that I didn't do, you can see those kind of rough ends. It looks much poofier and bigger than it actually is. So I hope that that was helpful for you guys. I hope really showing you how the spray works in real life helps you guys really see the benefits of the spray. I hope you guys like the spray if you already have it. I'll go ahead and put the links down below. You can get my spray from JMC simons.com you can also order it right here on youtube i'm pretty sure you're going to see little pop-ups or whatever we have down here at the bottom and you can get the brush the spray and we also have some little cute little merchy things that you can probably see over here in the background check those out as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one What did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love